Mealworms, originally from the Mediterranean, are now also global pests. But that's because they're so good at doing their job as nature's cleanup crew. Different teams of cleaners are called on for different jobs. In the rainforests of Malaysia, a jungle nymph gorges on a lovely fresh flower. But it's messy and squanders more than it eats. Below, the rainforest soil pulses as the cleanup crew rallies. In this case, Suriname cockroaches. They live buried in loose soil and begin to dismantle the wasted flower from below. Everyone hates roaches, but in the wild, they're actually the good guys, hard-working laborers on the cleanup crew. Many populations of Suriname roaches consist entirely of female clones that can reproduce asexually, so soon build up into huge numbers. All the better to get the job done quickly. Attracted by the scent, African flower beetles swarm over a piece of fallen fruit. They normally get their sugar fix from the sweet nectar in flowers, so this is a huge sugary jackpot. It pulls in a crowd. They slurp up the concentrated fruit juice and chew on the succulent flesh. But some recyclers have to take on less appetizing jobs. When a South American giant grasshopper molts, it discards its brittle exoskeleton. Not the most mouth-watering meal, but it still needs to get recycled. Arriving ready for work, woodlice. Woodlice normally recycle fragments of dead plants, which are made of tough cellulose. This exoskeleton is made of chitin, a similar carbohydrate. So a woodlouse's impressive digestive system can extract nutrients even from this dried up husk. Without nature's cleanup crew, the world would quickly drown in rotting food, excrement, and corpses. This dead rodent is in need of disposal, and cockroaches are one of nature's undertakers. The putrid stink of rotting flesh is irresistible to these South American cave roaches. The roaches are so good at this job, they're one of the species of cockroaches being used to turn human food waste into compost, a process called blatty composting. But nature's cleanup crew has already made itself at home in our world, uninvited. Food like rice, pasta, cereals, is just dead plant matter to some bugs in need of recycling. Untidy pantries provide a feast for mealworms that, given the chance, infest our dried cereals and grains. When they become adult beetles, they mate right away. Each female can lay 500 eggs, a population explosion waiting to happen. That's not good news in our homes. But in the wild, without the countless hordes of nature's cleanup crew, we'd be up to our necks in waste and dead bodies in no time at all.